from a tragic car accident that left him confined to a wheelchair to finally walking six years later. Former Canadian heavyweight boxing champion Tony Morrison is a true testament of courage and determination. He's not only walking, but also coaching others to reach their dreams and goals in the boxing ring. Here's a look at his inspirational story. Um, I came to Canada in 1976 in Jamaica. And the first week I came here, mom, my mom introduced me to a lady and her son was a boxer. So that was a Thursday and the following Monday I was in the gym. I started boxing right like three days after I came to Canada. When I was in Jamaica, I was um, driving, around, driving around with a friend of mine who was driving around the city. He dropped me off to the city to pick me up a few hours later. Uh, while waiting for him, there were so many people at my house that went for a walk. I was on the road waiting for him. It was taking too long to come back, so I started heading back home. And Man, that's all I remember. I just remember seeing a car coming at me. And I woke up four hours later in the, in the hospital. Hospitals in Jamaica are not very safe. They, they, don't, they don't really take care of you good. Because it's all about money in, in Jamaica. I know it's about money in Jamaica. So I, I wanted to sign myself out and not. They said, no, you can't go. So I signed myself out to I'm going back to Canada. I went back to my, uh, my mom's place. I was there for a day. About two more, I was there for about two more days and I started getting, getting worse. They took me to a doctor in Antigua Bay and the doctor asked me what happened to me. I said, I got hit by a car. He goes, well, I was a week ago. He goes, you crazy. He goes, man, you should be dead by now with your injury. I said, what do you mean? He goes, he said, you need, to see, you need, you need surgery. So I came out to, I came out to Canada in a wheelchair. I was home for about oh, six, six, six and a half years. You know, I, I was, um, Lost my job. I lost everything. My wife left me. I lost everything. I had uh, I had about eighty thousand dollars in the bank at the time, saved up, and um, I was so stressed that I started gambling. I, I take a taxi to Woodbine Racetrack every day because that's the only thing I could do. You know, car, airport, um, to the um, racetrack and come home. So I was home depressed. A lot, a lot of stuff happened to me while I was home. You know, a lot of things happened to me. I thought about killing myself one time. And just his life was so bad because there's no, there was no one around you at that time. It's just you. I deal, I deal with everything myself. I, I noticed as an athlete, when you're making money, when you're around people, everyone wants to be around you. When something bad happens to you, you have no friend. Everyone just abandon you. There's no one around you. There's no one to stand up for you. No one to you know, help you out when, you, when you're done, right? The same with family. Family family's there when you're making money, but when, when, when the money stops coming, then the family's gone, right? I went to Sully's one day to visit a friend. And the owner of Sully's, hey, how you doing, Tony Morrison? I said, I'm doing good. He goes, uh, good, thank you. I'm going on vacation. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, hey, what's the gym for me? I'm going on vacation. That was 26 years ago. And I never left the gym since. He's like, well, if you're here to train, you're trained. So I just like teaching people. I like to see the kids in the, in the, in the ring doing something good, you know what I mean? Uh, my name is Melissa, and I've been coming here for three years. And it wasn't until last year, around the fall, Tony kind of pushed me to get in the ring. Um, I tried it out, and once I got it, I didn't want to get back out. So I've been training ever since then. So training session with Tony is intense. Um, we start off with a workout that lasts about, let's say, 20 minutes. Um, so whether that's skipping, shadow boxing, uh, doing one of his drills, going for a run. Um, after that, he'll have me in the ring do a couple of rounds of sparring or um, pad pads. Um, then we hit the bag for a bit, after that we do a cool down with like some final workouts, whether it's like core training or like uh, stretch training with weights. February that just passed, I had my first fight at the Brampton Cup. Um, it was fun. It was scary in the beginning, but eventually, you know, you have no choice but to just get used to it and loosen up. So um, I won my first fight. <laughs> Um, and then because I won my first fight, I got to move on to my second fight, which was the next day. Um, lost my second fight, but that was kind of okay. It kind of just pushed me to work harder. Hi, my name's Graham Matthews. I'm 19 years old, and I've been at Sully's Gym for three years. I didn't like this kid when he first started because he talks too much, but now he's not my best kid. You know, he's, he's, I, I mean, I like him as a person, but not as a fighter because he never stopped talking. He was driving me crazy. I, I would go home, and I could hear this kid in my head. But he's a good, he's a really good fighter. He, um, he already fought with three or four Canadian champions and he's only, he's only got 25 fights and he's been three, three of them already. You know? uh, my relationship with Tony is uh, 
is uh, good. Uh, he always uh, pushes me around uh, in a good way, in a fun way. But uh, uh, I sincerely revere him because uh, he teaches me a lot. He uh, he shows me everything I know about this work and uh, what it means to be uh, a hard a hard worker, even more outside of being a boxer, but just being a hard, efficient worker. And uh, yeah, I uh, respect him a lot. Uh, I've had 26 fights in uh, two years of competitions, of competing, and uh, I won the provincial two years ago, and I just got bronze recently. Um, I've beat three national champions, uh, I've lost to two other ones, um, and uh, I've competed at the Bracket Cup, which is one of the biggest tournaments in North America, and uh, the provincials, as I said, and uh, I've done very well across Ontario, and I hope to uh, do well and go to nationals this following year. I hope uh, in my early 20s to go uh, professional because um, this is what I really want to do. Uh, I plan to become first the best in Canada, amateur, the best in Canada as a pro, and the best in Canada or the world as a professional as well. And hopefully maybe even the best in Canadian history, but uh, I have to look at it as steps like a, like a staircase. And, uh, but big things are going to come. It's a discipline sport. You have to have it's a, the mentality of boxing. You cannot go in the ring with them in the ego. You have to be very disciplined. Guys, I mean, like, you, you can be the biggest, I don't want to mention name, but fighter in the world. All it takes is one punch and you're out. Right? So in boxing, you're constantly punching the face. There's no grappling, there's no holding. You get punched, and I've seen a lot of kids there. Once they get punched, they go, no, 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 no. You can't stop, man. You want to be a boxer. So once you get punched, I say, yeah, I don't know discipline. You have to train for this sport. It's different from all the other sports. No one is punching in your face. Football, you can rest. Boxing, you once I've been ring for three minutes, you have to work for three minutes. You can't stop. If you stop, you lose the fight. And the football field, if you get hurt, they pull you off and put somebody else in. But no one can stop for you in the fight. So once the bell ring, it's done. So yeah, you, you, you have to have a really good mentality to do this sport. Graham Matthews will be competing this Wednesday, April 18th, in Toronto at the Spider Jones Show. Make sure to check it out. Reporting from Sully's Boxing Gym in Toronto, I'm Martha Krupp.